in this work, we found out that you know a lot of you know uh, housekeeping important protein, for example, heat shock proteins, can be modified in response to salinity stress, which is salt stress, and it might be important for fighting the salt coming into the cell. My name is Kittisak Yoktong Watana from the uh, Department of Biochemistry, Faculty of Science, Mahidon University. In this work, we study the response of plants to salt stress. We use microalgae, chlamydomohat, Reinhardtii as the model organism because it uh, represents the green plants. It's fast growing and easily handled. So we grow the cell in normal culture media. And then afterward, we spin the cell down and we suspend the cell in normal media and also normal media plus 300 millimolar sodium chloride, which is a toxic level to the cell. If you grow the cell more than two hours, the cell begins to die. And eventually, from green you know, cells, it dies in a couple, of, a couple of hours. So we collected the cell after two hours with the cell still viable. Compared to the normal cell without salt treatment, we collect the cell, extract the protein, run 2D gel, and we look for protein that are you know, expressed exclusively after two hours of salt treatment. And we compare to the, the control, and we found out that a lot of proteins that you know, appear after two hours of salt treatment were housekeeping protein, heat shock proteins, for example. And when we look at the control cell, they also have those proteins, but they are at different positions on the gel, suggesting that these are proteins that got modified. So either the protein got modified so that the normal pool got reduced and the cell died eventually, or that the, you know, the protein has to be modified in response uh, in order to fight the incoming cell that uh, get leaked into the cell. We, we found out later on in the next paper that, you know, it's the latter, which uh, the, the protein needs to be modified in order to fight the, the, the stress. So this uh, initial work was published in Planta in 2012. If you're interested, you can look at the, the journal. <laughs>